Hello, George Burns here. Today I'd like to show you how I've made this card. I made this card using the stamp set Art in Bloom. And I've used just the flowers out of this set. The sentiments come from Pansy Patch. Happy birthday. The die that I cut the card with or cards has come out of and I never brought it with me let me go and get it scalloped contour I didn't buy the stamp set I just bought the dies because I do like these and I used this die and what I did I got my card and my card blank and I lined them up where they would have gone top to bottom but then I moved it right up to the top so that it's even with the edge. I got the die, went in about an inch and a half inch and a quarter, taped it down and cut off the two cards together. Now I did have to go in, back out that way and then I flipped it all like that and did it again for it to go through this thick card base and a top card, layering card. So that's what I did with that. No, wrong set. This one. Oh, and the flowers I cut with this die from the Bloom's Bloom die set. So, as I've already done the card cutting. And the base of the card, that's wrong, that's it, right. goes in that way. And that will sit nicely, giving it a, like a double edge, like that. It was a bit tough cutting them both together, but it does work. So, so that's my card. It started off as a eight and a quarter by five and seven eighths, scored at four and one eighth, folded in half, and then you chop off the end. I have a piece of. I didn't want to do it blue again, so I've got. Uh, I think this is my last bit of checkered purple posy paper. I thought it was a nice card to use it on. And we're going to stick that on there. So this is an inch and a half. It is. An inch and a half and then we'll trim both ends. So that the inside bit has to be three and one eighths by five and five eighths. And that will sit on top of that in there no I don't want that showing so looks like I didn't cut it short enough no so I am just going to slice off this card
that's better I don't want it to be seen and that will go on there like that nice so let's get cracking Oh, so we're going to stamp on this. No, I'm going to stamp the flowers first. So, I have already stamped and cut out the flowers. And look, they do cut out individually. Even though it's one die, they do cut the flowers out individually. So, I will stamp them and cut them out at a later date so I know I'm using the wrong ink but I don't matter because I'm not going to colour these in just now so by the time I want them the ink will be well and truly dry didn't put enough pressure on it but that's the three flowers stamped which I've got here which we will colour in so I'm just going to put this away can't put the dies in this packet like you do normally because of the the way they're letting you store them that don't matter. Right, so I want purple posy, dark. Got it. All I did with this is colour all these and then up a little bit round. at the bottom wasn't too particular with it because the um, lines are quite thin on some of them and thick on others and then I went round the tops of them not smoothly either Some just a little bit, and some I went all round. So we did that on all three flowers. Mm. Neighbours doing a garden out. I'm sorry if you hear any banging. It's got beautiful weather here at the moment. And if you hear any shouting in the background, that is my husband. There's football on the telly. Don't know who's playing. Not particularly bothered with who's playing and who's not. Can't stand football. Right, 
nearly finished. And then we need um, Daffodil Delight Dark just to go over the middle. And that is our flowers. Oh, you can't actually see them, can you? No, the purple pose is not showing up on camera, but they do look nice. I will say that. Uh, arrange them like that. Now the leaves we have to cut out. They are from Forever Fern and they are these four little ones. So let's quickly cut some of them out. We need eight, I think, two, four, six, eight. So we need to cut these out twice. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Put these back. Don't want to lose these little things. cake are splatter dots. I know I use them all the time because I think they make such a great background. And that's all I've done. Down the middle, two strips. Now let's put this card together. So let's glue this on here. We've got stamp a sentiment yet. in forgot I've got to cut some off and right to the edge and then trim off what we don't need
like that. And then we'll glue in this pit. Give you some ooh, somewhere to write. No. Right up against it. There we are. You can't see that and you can see the purple. Purple posy. And these need to go on dimensionals. I think I only put two on each one, did I? Yeah, I did. one on first uh, the middle one like that and then bottom more don't know why it won't lay down um and yeah and now we're going to glue all these little leaves in and we're going to glue them in two so Wherever we put one, we're going to glue another one, going off the side of it. We'll do top and bottom first. these this one we're going to put either side of the sentiment when we stamp it actually if I can get happy birthday on this which I've got lying on the side I shall use this this is from the meadows Let's see if we can get that in there. Don't know if it'll go in there. Let's give it a try. If not, I'll have to stamp it out. out too much. Now 
Now, do I like it without crumb cake on the back of it? That's the thing. I do like this bit though. I suppose I could put a bit of crumb cake. I know this is a just on hmm except I didn't bring any crumb cake with me or not enough let me see if I can find another scrap of crumb cake this will do it I found a heart which I can cut up. That's not very straight. Yeah, I like that. That's just what we'll do. So if you want to use this, it's from the um, Meadow die set. I just done a card. Just filmed a card using that die set. That's why it was on my table. Right. Now I'm gonna cut still cut some more up. I'm gonna glue. How much do I have to glue? Oh, get out of the way. Lose that much. I do like that. And then we'll just put these other two flowers. underneath <clears throat> and then I think we'll add some gems I never put gems on this one but I think we will add some gems. I have got some silver ones. So let's put a few of these on. I'm going to put five on each card. Two, three, five. Let's do the same with this one. I must say it does look different with gems on. I 
looks like it was meant to have gems on. I'm absolutely roasting today. There we are. I think they were quite pretty. Hope you find them pretty. Let me lift them up so no, I'll zoom you in. Right, that is them, my card for today. Hope you like them. If you do, give us a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more of my cards, please subscribe. And if you press the bell icon, You'll be notified of any more videos I upload, which is usually a Monday, Wednesday and Friday. All I can say is thanks for visiting and I hope to see you again soon.